Hey everyone, Solo Lisa here. Um, I hope you're having a great 2011 so far. And a couple of you mentioned in my Best of Blog 2010 Links Roundup that you really enjoyed the vlogs and you wanted to see more. So here you go. Um, here's hoping I can stick to doing more vlogs this year. I'm gonna try my best, that's for sure. Uh, so this one is going to be all about Boxing Week shopping and I actually didn't go too crazy this year. Um, I didn't go out at all on Boxing Day because I was at home baking a pie to take over to a dinner and then the next day I was pretty much too worn out to go out. Um, but the day after that I had a chance to go to Seattle on a day trip and um, I looked up a couple of stores that were there. We were going to be stopping in the University Village mall so um, I had Madewell, J. Crew, and Anthropology on my list. I didn't find anything I really wanted at J. Crew, but um, Madewell and Anthropology had amazing sales. 50% um, off and uh, at Anthropology they had an extra 25% off of their sale items. So let's go through what we got, or I got rather. So. Madewell, in case you don't know about it or you're only vaguely familiar about, with it, is um, J. Crew's sister brand. It's hipper, more hipster, um, trendier sister brand. And they've collaborated with Alexa Chung in the past. So um, I think that collaboration sort of speaks for the type of thing that you can find in Madewell. And it was a lot of fun to browse. Um, I tried on quite a few things, but in the end I only walked away with a simple tank top. So yeah, as you can see, it's nothing spectacular, just a tank top with a scoop neck and this really fun sort of um, silver and gold metallic thread um, just at the neckline and around the arm. And I really wanted this tank top because the scoop neck isn't too low, so it's actually appropriate to wear under a cardigan or with a skirt in the summer um, for the office. And it's, it's nice and relaxed at the bottom, not too clingy, so it just skims over skinny jeans and denim, denim leggings nicely. But um, because the material is so thin, if you needed to tuck it into high-waisted shorts or skirts or trousers, you can do that without fear of looking bumpy and bunchy. So yeah, this is a pretty good buy. Um, it's regular $38 and on sale it was $19.99, so not bad at all. Um, so Madewell damage only equaled one tank top. Um, anthropology ended up being a little bit more than that. So. They had an amazing, amazing sale. It wasn't, it wasn't anything like the one on the website at all. They actually had racks and racks for you to sift through and um, a whole range of sizes in different items. So they also had an extra 25% off the last ticketed price on their sale items, which made the deals even sweeter. Um, first up is this blouse. So. It's actually supposed to be a fitted blouse, black and white pattern on the upper part, and then solid black on the bottom. It has an empire waist sash built in, and the sash ties in a bow around the back. And there's a side, side zip on this, so it really is meant to be a more fitted blouse. And um, there's a brass zipper on the front that you can leave open if you want to wear this blouse with a pretty necklace, or you can zip up if you want a more prim and proper look. And um, I was especially, I was specifically on the mission for um, really nice, interesting looking tops that I could pair with jeans, or um, I could wear from the office to an evening out, a relaxing dinner somewhere. Just something that looks visually interesting and dressy, but it takes no more effort to put on than the t-shirt, if you know what I mean. And so this blouse definitely fit the bill on all counts. It was $49.95, and after the extra 25% off, it worked out to $37.46. So yeah, not bad at all. And then I actually ended up getting another blouse. This one is 
silk and it's a blue floral print on a gray background um, with sort of slightly poofy peasant style sleeves and these wooden buttons down the front. So again, it's a nice blouse to wear with jeans and denim leggings. Um, it can be tucked in really easily and it won't create the bulkiness. And it has the visually interesting pattern. So yeah, this one used to be $128 regular price. And then on the sale rack, it got marked down to $79.95. Then with the extra 25% off, it ended up being $59.96. Yeah, quite a reduction from $128. Yeah, and the last item from Anthropology is this yellow skirt with a print all over the skirt that can be best described as Japanese girls in kimonos, because I really don't know how else to describe it. Um, so here, if you want to take a closer look. Black waistband on the top with ruching on the back. So this would look really good with the top tucked into it, actually. It has pockets on the side. Pockets are always a nice selling point. And it's just a nice full A-line circle skirt silhouette. Um, and this, I love prints like these because you can basically pull out one of the colors of the print. Um, say brown, black, off-white, different shades of yellow, navy, and just wear that color as a solid colored top to pair with the skirt and you just instantly look put together and polished. And there's so many different neutral tones in the print of the skirt that you can basically wear all sorts of neutral color tops or yeah, all sorts of neutral color tops and um, uh, this will definitely make getting dressed for work in the summer a lot easier. Uh, just being able to, you know, make minimal effort like that and still look put together. So that skirt ended up being, well, it was $49.95 and it ended up being $37.46. And before this shopping trip, I had set a budget for for myself of uh, $200 max. Um, all of these items came to $170 after taxes, so I don't think I did too badly. Um, thanks for watching, and if you did any shopping during Boxing Day or Boxing Week or went cross-border hunting for deals and you want to share um, what you got, then please do so in the comments. Thanks for watching again, and see you soon. Bye!